Why have men been banned from wearing Speedos? Here you go, Eric. The answer is Alton Towers. <laughs> So, are you ready for Speedos to make a comeback? Tracy Ann, Craig, and Benita's thoughts in a sec. Yours are most welcome on the usual number 0207 173 555. Speedo, 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 speedo. It still takes a brave man to wear something as, um, well, as revealing as Speedos. And yet, the Daily Telegraph, which is about as fashionable as Rara skirts, reckons they're making a comeback. <laughs> Sales have gone up 400% in the last six months, the paper reports. But that might mean they sold one pair six months ago <laughs> and four pairs last week. Eh? <laughs> Statistics. Uh, this summer, though, the trunks play a major role in Sex and the City 2, where the New York Mingers spot the Aussie football team wearing them. Oh, my God! Now... They may look good on David Beckham, but hand on heart, I think they look even better on EastEnders hard man Steve McFadden. <laughs> <laughs> Feast your eyes on that, girls. <laughs> I, they told me it was a really good photo. I'd forgotten it until I saw that. That's a cracker. Are they going to make a comeback? That's the question. We sent Kirsty, bizarrely, and Eric out to find out. Speedo or speed don't? Oh <laughs> speed don't, I'm afraid. Speed don't, like that, no. Speed don't. Speed don't. Speed don't, come on. Speed don't in that colour. He has a nice body though, so if you've got a nice body, then maybe speedo. Speed don't, no way. <laughs> Speedo. You like them? Yeah, they're nice. Speedo or speed don't? Uh. Well, he can. He can speedo, but mm, sometimes it's speedo. Speedo! No, I think it looks quite sexy, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eric! Well done! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> the lady, the ladies, you're right. The ladies, you're right. I keep looking at her going. <laughs> See anything you like, madam? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Craig, speedo, speedo. I love them. I think they're fabulous. Oh, but you're from a land where the lifeguards wear ridiculous thongs yeah. and funny hats. Yeah, that's right. I think they're really, really cool. I think they're so much better than, you know, board shorts that go down below the Eric knee. Eric is very blessed. He has the body to wear them. Well, obviously. he needs to Thank wax, you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little bit of a crutch trim would, wouldn't go astray, you know. Uh, I mean, but all of that can be fixed, can't it? Well... But, um, <laughs> you know, they're practical, actually, as well. Eh? Hey? They, they dry quickly. They're nice and comfortable, actually, Have to you got wear. a pair? Of course I have. I don't look very good in them, but I'm, <laughs> I've got a pair. I what, prefer what, swimming in them. What about Definitely. Uh, the ladies, Benita? Um, I think what you said about the waxing thing is quite true. So many men these days are into the grooming and the tanning and everything like that. And so they want to show off the body that they've worked so hard to achieve. <laughs> As you can see. That's, that's one way of, uh, of doing it, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. I mean, because they, 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 I mean, they, they were popular, what, I suppose... 80s, wasn't it? It would be about 70s. Like 70s. 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 So they have a really nice tan line too. I don't know. Many, <laughs> many clothes uh, sort of differentiate the woman from the girl, shall we say? And I think it's great that an item of fashion clothing will come into play, which will short out the men from the boys. <laughs> if you've got a really nice package, and you know you can carry it off, why not? And otherwise, you turn into steam. <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think it's definitely better than the G string, isn't it, my love? Will you ever be able to look him in the eye again? I'll never see him, I know, definitely. <laughs> Have you got any other photos of you? I've got one of you in it. Would you wear no, them, Matthew? No! Why? I, I, I'm with the dudes. I, I mean, I don't go quite as bad as, you know, the shorts you wear on the beach that go virtually to your ankles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my go to the knee, but no, no, no. My dad used to wear them, and that's probably why. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's throw it over to you, Kirsty. OK, we have Lisa on line one. <laughs> was that, by the way, the most embarrassing filming you'd ever done? It was the best. It was so funny. Everybody wanted to stop. We didn't even have to ask people if we could interview them. They all just stopped and went... <laughs> Can we, can we get involved? Can we get involved? Okay, let's go to the phone. Uh, we have Lisa on line one. Lisa. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Speedo, speedo't, what are you? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. And like Benita, I didn't start off with Mount Snowden. I went to Mount Kinabalu in um, Borneo. 
for my fast mountain climb. On the way down with my now ex-husband, he was wearing his speedos. Well, now, it was mountaineering. It was in agony. <laughs> well, you I lost me there. Agony, Matthew. And I said, why can't you just get your meat and two veg into a sprout bag and be happy? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll stop that one there, Lisa, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that is your lot for today, folks. Time for me to pack away this morning's panel like a, well, a too small pair of trunks and hit the beach, if only. Um, first, though, it's a heartfelt thank you and goodbye to Benita. Thank it's you. been fantastic having you. <laughs> it's two weeks in the after the young girl. Tracy Anke, fantastic show. Show some love, ladies. Come on. Well done.